Mercedes-AMG Petronas driver Michael Schumacher was the best starter in F1 in 2011, gaining a total of 40 positions. Now he explains the secrets of making a lightning start. Well, uh, the parade lab is obviously uh, reasonably intense in terms of how busy you are, what you have to do. And it starts with the uh, engine gets fired on, you go for uh, a clutch bite point check, you then do a physical start in order to see what is your grip level, everything works well, uh, and you'll be ready. After this one, you have a contradiction because you need to keep the engine temperature low, fuel consumption low, but at the same time, you have to work your tires to warm them up and you have to keep your brakes hot because, I mean, the, the worst you can have is uh, cold brakes, first braking, equally tires. So that's a workout that is difficult, but uh, to be managed uh, by us, you have intensive communication with a team that in informs you about your state of uh, brake temperature, tire uh, pressures and uh, whatever information that is vital. So in this respect, uh, you go for most of the lap uh, on an easy way, just keeping your brakes and tires warm. For the last little bit, before you go to the grid, that's uh, uh, the most intense, because then you have to do your burnouts. And that means warming up your rear tire to be ready for the start, to have the tires in the optimum um, temperature window to have uh, most, uh, most grip available. Arriving physically on the, on the line, you have uh, uh, one further action to do, and that is to make another bite point check. Then you wait for the right moment, engage your first gear, and then just focus on the lights. Wait and be ready, focus around what's going on, and uh, let the right moment uh, uh, go, and then action starts. The aim is to get a good start to the race and into the new season. At Melbourne 2012, the long winter will finally be over.